It might seem hard to imagine moving a house through the bustling streets of Manhattan, but in 2008, against all odds, this monumental feat was accomplished. But why go through such efforts? Hi everyone, Ken here. Today we are following the Grange across Manhattan as it finds its final resting place. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an exciting episode of This House. This historic house, once the cherished home of Alexander Hamilton, one of the United States' most influential founding fathers, has journeyed through time and space to claim its current resting place. But how did this grand abode, a silent witness to the birth of our nation and the life of a revolutionary, come to be moved not once, but twice? Let's delve into the captivating tale of the Grange, a house as dynamic as its illustrious owner. Alexander Hamilton, a name synonymous with the founding of the United States, was a man of profound intellect and indomitable spirit. Born out of wedlock in the Caribbean, Hamilton's early life was marked by adversity, yet his keen mind and eloquent pen propelled him from the depths of despair to the heights of political power. As George Washington's right-hand man during the Revolutionary War and the first Secretary of the Treasury, Hamilton's impact on America is undeniable. Amidst his monumental contributions to the nation, Hamilton sought solace in the construction of the Grange, the only home he ever built, designed by the esteemed architect John McComb Jr. and completed in 1802. The Grange was initially perched on a 32-acre tract of land in what is today known as Harlem. This federal-style mansion was Hamilton's rustic retreat from political turmoil, a place where he could indulge in the company of his beloved family. However, Hamilton's tenure at the Grange was tragically short-lived, he died just two years after its completion, losing in a duel to Aaron Burr. As the years rolled on, the Grange witnessed the transformation of its surroundings from countryside to cityscape. By the late 19th century, the encroachment of urban development threatened its existence. In a bid to preserve this historic gem, St. Luke's Episcopal Church, having acquired the property, undertook the monumental task of relocating the Grange in 1889. The house was tirelessly dragged by horses approximately 250 feet to a new location on Convent Avenue. This first move was a feat of engineering and a testament to the community's reverence for Hamilton's legacy. Yet the saga of the Grange did not end there. Fast forward to the 21st century, and this historic house faced another move, this time to ensure its preservation amidst modern challenges. After years of planning and preparation, including bracing the interior walls and architectural elements, in 2008, the 300-ton Grange was lifted by hydraulic jacks above the church, rolled across a steel frame track, lowered back to the ground, and painstakingly transported through Manhattan's tight streets to its current location in St. Nicholas Park. This move, a delicate dance of precision and care, was driven by the desire to restore the Grange to its former glory and provide it with a setting reminiscent of its original surroundings. A new foundation had to be constructed in the park before the house could be nestled into its new setting. As soon as it had settled, restoration work began. Over the years, the house had fallen into disrepair, but it had been well documented. Crews began reassembling each room to be as historically accurate as possible to bring the house back to how it would have appeared when Hamilton called it home. After three painstaking years of meticulous restoration work, the Grange was finally ready to be opened to the public as a house museum. Stepping inside transports us back in time, the house appearing as it did in 1802. Even though the parlor had been severely damaged over the years with peeling paint and cracking plaster, it was able to be brought back to life and staged with period furniture. The dining room had looked just as rough, but having moved the house across town, no challenge was too much. Just like the parlor, it was reinvigorated to clearly communicate how the house once appeared with early American furnishings. Today, the Grange stands as a beacon of history, its journey from a beloved family home to a cherished national memorial mirroring the tumultuous yet triumphant story of Alexander Hamilton himself. Visitors to the Grange can wander through its restored rooms, each nook and cranny brimming with tales of yesteryear. The Grange, much like Hamilton's legacy, has weathered the storms of time. Its moves a testament to the enduring significance of preserving our past for future generations. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments section, and while you're there, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an exciting episode of This House.